so uh, this is very messy. I always have these messy videos where you don't understand what I'm actually talking about, but it's okay. Um, it'll all come together. So basically, maybe I'll just start again. Okay. Basically, four years ago, I started getting um, infections under my armpits, in my armpits, under my arms, um, and they were just sort of spread rapidly um, which was very uncomfortable um, I got new bras like thinking it might be the bras thinking it might be my washing powder I started trying to eliminate various different things from my diet from my washing from like everything to try and stop the aggravation but <clears throat> um, after doing that for like months, I ended up stopping using body wash soaps and I ended up using an antibacterial soap, which started to help. And then I started using apple cider vinegar in my arms, which I've now been using for about four years. Um, and then I use it in conjunction with this recipe I'm going to show you now. Um, and this recipe I'm going to show you now has worked for me every day. There's no issues. Um, I haven't had flare-ups since I use this continuously. Um, so we're gonna do two recipes for you today. Uh, uh. Um, okay, let's turn the camera around and start making. Okay, so firstly we're gonna do the other people's one. Okay, so we've got measuring spoons, a measuring cup, a spoon to mix coconut oil, corn flour, containers, lavender oil, wintergreen, bark off. Okay. Four tablespoons of cornstarch. Okay, then we got two tablespoons of bicarbonate soda. Two tablespoons of bicarb. And we got eight drops of lavender essential oil. Lavender essential oil is antifungal, which is really cool. And it's relaxing and calming and wonderful. So they say we should melt this. But that sounds like such a bad idea. It is quite soft already. No, I'm just gonna do it like this. You just try and get like this on a hot day. So that's like one tablespoon. We're using three. My child's trying to be a dinosaur, I think. So because of my armpits, I also use natural soaps. I don't use any deodorized soaps and stuff. I don't I obviously don't use perfume, spritzy stuff. Okay, so my plan for this week is that I'm going to apply this one under one arm and then the other one under the other arm and we're going to do a comparison how long they last um, which one works better, etc. Which one smells better, which one feels better. Okay, that's quite well mixed. It feels really nice and soft, like that feels feels really beautiful. It's got that graininess from the bark off, but the addition of the cornstarch is really quite awesome. 
I did post this recipe a while ago, so if any of you did try it, let me know, please. There we go. Love Dio. Now for my recipe. So, which I use one tub of this. This is from Pick and Pay. It's like 17 Rand for the 50 Rand. And it's obviously got winter green essential oil in it, mixed with petroleum jelly basically. But this is what works for me, so. I kind of stick to you, stick to it. I really like the smell of it as well. It's just like fresh throughout the day. If you don't know what wintergreen is, it's a uh, very minty. And it gives your armpits some lubrication. Petroleum jelly. It's quite messy. Prepare to get messy. I'm going to go for the same sort of amount of coconut oil. I just don't want to get my wintergreen in. Coconut oil, so I'm just gonna wipe it off. Three tablespoons. Coconut oil is antibacterial. Um, pH balancing. Many great things. Oops. Use it on my skin and my hair. It's really good shit. Three tablespoons of bicarb. One. Two. Three. So bicarb is also pH balancing and odor neutralizing okay my last batch of deodorant had apple cider vinegar in it which i'm not going to put this time because it was making the liquid very it was making my deodorant too runny now that it's warmer um during winter it was fine but now it's hot here in Joburg, so we're not putting the acv in this time here we go done I didn't even use that. And winter green. It works really well. I think you'll love it. Um, definitely give it a try. I mean, it's just like four different ingredients. It's super simple to make. Um, and it works really really well and it's kind to the environment and it's kind to yourself so give it a try guys and let me know how it goes please i'd love to hear your feedback so give me some feedback and remember to like and subscribe